I, I wonder what it's like, you know, to, to actually be afraid of something. It is a time of great triumphs and great failures. Great humanity and great suffering and violence. It was also an era when you could truly get brushes and bulbs, cords and cocks, glue and gloves, and more for just a dollar each. The mid-90s were eclectic, stunning, experimental, and at times, rather terrifying. The year is 1994. An American woman visits Dr. Antonio Damasio for a checkup after experiencing unexplained blackouts. The doctors eventually discovered the cause of her affliction. The reason behind it might scare many people to hear, but that's the problem. It didn't scare her at all. But she did seem oddly comfortable, delightful, and gregarious. She also hovered rather closely to him for them having just met. Dr. Antonio Damasio recalls meeting with her for the first time. It struck me a little bit out of the ordinary. She was very close to you. Uh, and that, of course, came to have a, an, an interpretable meaning after we knew more about her. But at that point, I would say that she looked like a perfectly normal person. And she is a perfectly normal person, except for one particular problem. Fearless, that's the best way of, of describing it. She had to be restrained from playing with the ones that would actually be quite dangerous to her. Years ago, when when my three sons were, were small, I was walking to the store and I saw this man on a park bench. He said, come here, please. So I went over to him. I said, what do you need? He grabbed me by the shirt and he held a knife to my throat and told me he was gonna cut me. I told him, I said, go ahead and cut me. I said, I'll be coming back and I'll hunt your ass. 